Mark Grimm is the author of a book called Everyone Can Be a Dynamic Speaker. Yes, I mean you. And if uh, Mark is here this morning to share some thoughts on this book, and you know, in your book you talk about the fact that you joke that some people compare public speaking to getting a root canal, but it's really not that bad. Oh, yeah, I think first of all is uh, we, the fear, the anxiety is the number one issue, of course. And I've had that fear as anybody else, the, the, the stomach butterflies. We all have. The key is to confront. And what is it exactly that you're afraid of? We exaggerate the fear that the the audience wants to pounce on you, and in fact, they're empathetic because they have the same butterflies. So once we really crystallize what we fear, one of the other fears we have is we're going to go blank. Well, have an, an outline, an easy outline that you can refer to if you go blank, and or you're not going to know the material. We'll do the right kind of research so you can deal with the anxiety ahead of time to help lessen it, and that's one of the, the big factors. A lot of people think they can go through their whole lives without ever having to speak in front of a crowd, but the likeliness of that happening, especially in today's world, is not likely. And why would you want to live that way? I, I know the feeling is when, when you ask for a public speaker, you see people around the, uh, jumping under the table because they don't want to be chosen. <laughs> it's a shame because it isn't just for CEOs and politicians, it's for soccer moms who are involved with the soccer league or the church groups or the PTAs. The people that really lead these groups are the ones that get up and speak and they're not necessarily the ones that know the most about what's going on. Right. But every one of us can become more dynamic. There's a specific path for doing it and I've lived that path and I outline it in the book and it's about anxiety but it's also about clarity and relevance too, Jessica. Being clear and compelling and speaking to what the audience cares about, not what you care about. That's one of the first points you make in the book is the fact that we get all nervous because we think everybody's looking at us, it's all about us. It's not. It's about that audience. Rule number one, it's not about you, it's about them. Right. The speech is never about the speaker, it's about the audience. So ahead of time say, okay, what do they want to come away with? What, is it just a, two or three major points, A, B, and C? And then your purpose in that speech is to deliver A, B, and C. And if you do, all of a sudden people think you're a really good speaker <laughs> because you were talking about them and delivering value. And that's what really speaking is about. It's delivering value to the audience. You also talk about time limit. Uh, it shouldn't really ever exceed more than 25 minutes. And that goes to attention span. Right. Let's face it. Everybody's busy. We've all got a lot of things on our mind. If you can't say uh, uh, what you want to get across in 20 or 25 minutes, you have a clarity problem. The reality is there isn't 28 important things about anything. Basically, when you're trying to deliver a speech, it's really about two or three major things. Deliver those, really make sure you, you understand them well and the, and, the, and the audience does. And if the audience has taken a lot of notes, then there's a problem because then you're not being clear enough. They should be able to listen to you, walk away and say, you know what? I'm really going to use what that guy just said. And one of the things I took away from it is not having to memorize your speech, just knowing it so well that you can just speak to them like you and I are talking yes. right now. Yes, please don't read your speech. <laughs> no one likes to be read to. Get up there. Uh, a speech is a conversation with the audience. It should be interactive and uh, avoid standing behind a podium. The podium was created to protect the speaker, but actually it's a wall between the audience and the speaker. What you want to do is break that wall and interact and connect with the audience. And that's what makes you dynamic. It's not being slick, it's not being attractive, it's about connecting with the audience. So our role is to go and connect with the audience and there's a lot of practical tips in, in the book that help us do that.